Today in the bouquet, we are going to be doing another restoration video. This time, we're going to be restoring a pair of Red Wing 606s, and we are going to be using a new product by Armstrong All Naturals. So one of my subscribers, Josh K, asked if I wanted his old Red Wings in order to do a deconstruction video. When he told me it was a Red Wing 606, I explained to him that I already did the 2406 deconstruction video, which if you haven't seen, check below in the description box. It's pretty cool what they put inside up here. So I said to him, I got this new stuff from Armstrong's All Natural. It's a boot cleaning care kit, and I'd really love to put it to the test. Met him at Starbucks. He dropped off his boots. We shot the shit for a while, and here we are. So let's take a look at these boots. Now, as you can see, this pair of boots, they're dirty. They are filthy, filthy, dirty, as they should be. These are work boots. Now, this isn't like a pair of casual boots. We're just cleaning up some casual boots. These really are a pair of work boots. They have been heavily worked in. They have been heavily used. And I believe that you can actually see that, the leather almost looks like that it's never been treated and you can tell i mean look at that leather look at that all the way around there i don't think he ever put a bit of oil in there and josh i'm sorry man we talked about it over coffee and i said that you really need to um, start oiling up your boots so before i get started this armstrong's all natural shoe care kit i am going to have to brush these off so everything i'm going to use for this demonstration is included in this armstrong's all natural kit I'm not going to go outside there, but I am going to need something to brush off these shoes, so I'm going to use my paintbrush. As you guys remember from my other reconstruction video, I used this paintbrush. Now, I'm basically just going to brush all the dirt and dust off. As you can see, dirt and dust is prevalent in this pair of boots. I think I should really remove these laces because we're not going to need them. Off with the laces, and let's get to brushing these things off before we start putting some shoe care kit on it. Now, it is really important that from time to time you do clean and oil your boots. But if you don't have time to do it, make time to do it. Treat your boots well. They make you money. Be good to your boots. Be good to your feet. All right, so now we're done with the brushing, I say we move on to the Armstrong's kit and check out just what they send along in one of these tubular kits. So the kit itself, let's see what's inside here. Pop off one of these ends, there we go. So inside the tube, and the tube is pretty cool, it's always nice to you know, have things that come in the tube, right? So inside the tube you get a horsehair brush you get an applicator brush. Uh, you would normally recognize a brush like this from, you would normally recognize a brush like this from like Kiwi products or something. You usually see that as some sort of shoe shine brush or something like that. We get two cans of their product. This, this being the leather conditioner and this one being the natural boot shine. Now, I don't know which one we're gonna use first, but there is instructions. And as I always say, I think it's a good idea to read the instructions, especially when it comes to new shoe care products. So the beautiful thing about the Armstrong's All Natural is that they're all natural. You don't have to worry about heavy metals and dryers that are all mixed into the stuff that are gonna actually destroy your boots if you're concerned about stuff like that. So the brushes, really nice. Applicator, really nice. It's a good horsehair brush. They're both you know, top-notch, great quality, good stuff. Two pieces of jersey cotton cloth, buffing cloths, I guess you'd call it. Two little buffing cloths are mixed in there. So as the instructions read, and a pair of boots that look like this, we should really start with the conditioner. And this is the conditioner. And as you open it up, the conditioner, it's got a really nice smell. I'd say it kind of smells like 
the cleaner that they used to use in grade school to clean off our lockers. This is called zip or zap or something. It's got a slight lemony smell to it when you start moving it around. We're gonna use this applicator brush, this one right here, to get this on. And I'm going to, as normal, as I always will with these reconstruction things, I'm gonna put this stuff on heavy. Even if, it's, if they say I shouldn't put it on heavy, I'm putting it in heavy. As you can see, look at that. Nice and greasy, almost back to life. Let's give it a moment or two to cure. And let's work on the other one. Here, look at the, uh, look at the visual difference there. And uh, there is a huge difference visually between these two boots. I mean, never taken care of. First time getting some oil back in there. They almost look, well, they don't look brand new. I'm not gonna say they almost look brand new, but they do look pretty damn good. But let's let that soak in a little bit. And let's give this one a little bit of TLC. So there we go. First coat on this beautiful pair of Red Wing 606s. And they look absolutely awesome. I mean, that's really brought some life back into them. But now for the real test. I'm gonna hit it with the larger horsehair brush and we're gonna try to move some of this material off and we're gonna see exactly just how much damage there is to the leather and whether or not I can go on to the next step of just using the boot shine to make it look halfway decent. As a very worn boot like this, anything we're gonna do to it is gonna make it look better. And they're never gonna look new, but the one thing they are gonna just look and feel better, and you're adding a little bit more life by taking care of them. Heck yeah, that is pretty damn nice. So the one thing that Armstrong's does state in their instructions is that after I do this step, that I should give this an hour to cure or a few minutes. So let's say I give it a half an hour under the lights with the windows open and let's see how much of it gets soaked in. Now I will be right back in 30 minutes and we'll just see if there's any difference in this boot. All right, so it's been 30 minutes and as you can see, that that material has really soaked into this leather. This leather was in desperate need of a little TLC. So let's move on to the next product, which is going to be the Brooklyn Shoe Shine. Now, this product definitely has an orange smell to it. It smells awesome. So let's see what happens. Now they instruct me with the shoe shine in the instructions that I should put on a little bit, not use a lot. So I'm going to actually do that. I'm not going to slop it on like I normally do. I'm going to put a little bit in and I'm going to try and buff it. So it kind of has a little bit of a shine to it because there's going to be a little wax built into this stuff. The, uh, the ingredients call for a little wax. So let's see what happens. I am going to use the same applicator brush. Um, I like this brush. It puts stuff on the boot really nicely. And then once I get it all coated and covered, then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna buff it with the rag. Now, since this is more of a shining product, this is a finishing product, it's, I'm not putting it on as heavy. So I'm gonna come back over it. I'm gonna use their buffing cloths that they sent along which actually feels like a really nice soft felt type material i'm sure it's not i'm sure it's a poly cotton of some sort but it is a really nice material and let's see what happens here
Well, there you go. Look at those things. They look pretty damn good. I, mean, I have to say that is a hundred times better than when I started. Now there's always going to be some sections that you're going to find some, when you put material on as heavy as I do, you're going to find sections later that still have material, you know, locked into the welt or into, into a stitch section or just someplace where materials come together, where either leather meets sole or leather meets leather. So go over all your stitch sections after you're done buffing and wiping everything out. Let's lace these back up and let's just see how they actually look laced in. So that's that. So that's a Red Wing 606 restoration using Armstrong's Boot Care Tubular Kit. Like I said, this boot probably has not seen any oil or cleaning in the life of the boot, which isn't surprising me now that I actually know the owner of the boot. If you're currently using any of the Armstrong stuff on your heritage boots, on your work boots, on your leather jacket, or anything you got made out of leather, please comment below and let guys know what product you really like from Armstrong's and whether or not you've done this to a pair of work boots before. Hey, if you're interested in seeing some before and after photos, if you want to see just what it really did look like nice and up close and high resolution, swing by the bootguy.com. I'll have a blog posting titled Restoring Red Wing 606 and I'll have detailed photos in there, not only of the boots before and after, but also of the boot care products themselves and what they look like inside the can. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below because it really helps out. And if you're interested, remember you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All day long I find interesting stories about footwear, I find interesting pictures of boots, and I put them out there so you guys can see what's going on. Hey, if you got any questions about restoring an old pair of work boots or just about cleaning up your heritage boots right now, remember you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.